Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a particle animation on our coin. So let's go ahead and make a small particle animation. The first thing we need to do is we need to select our coin in the scene view and onto our coin we are going to create a um, new uh, game object and that is going to be an effect and it is going to be the particle system. So over here, you can see our new game object in our higher view. And um, what you'll see at the moment is that there is a particle system. These orange boxes are appearing, but what's happening is that the particles are being spawned behind our background. You'll see that if I remove the background for a moment, you'll see the particles. Now, why does this happen? This happens because the particles are currently going into our background. You'll see this when I go into the 3D view and sort of pivot um, our game. You'll see the particles are going right off the back. Now, we don't want that to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the particle system that we just added, and we're going to change the shape of the emission from cone to a circle. So right now, oh, hold on, uh, from a cone to a circle. Yeah, that's right. So what you'll see now is that we have uh, the particles spawning on a 2D layer. Uh, so they're not going back into the background. And yeah, they're being spawned from this white uh, circle that you can see here. It's very pale, but it's on the coin. But here you can see this white circle. Now I can change um, the size of the circle by playing around with the parameters over here. So you can see over here on the radius, if I increase the radius, the, coin, uh, the small particles will start sp spawning in a larger radius. And if I draw the radius back in, uh, the particles spawn from a very small spot. So let's leave the radius at about 1.5. And now let's blend the background back in again. All right. So what, what's going to happen now is that the particles, um, they um, are currently white. But let's go ahead and change the color of the particles. Uh, let's make them yellow just like the coin. So over here you can see we can change the start color of our coin. And we have a pipette with, with which we can choose a color. So I'm just going to click on the coin and it has chosen this nice yellow color. And now you'll see that the small um, particles that we're spawning all have this nice yellow color. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that not the particles don't go that far away from the coin. We want the particles to stay in a, in a sort of close range to the coin just to make it look a little bit better. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change how long the particles stay alive. So we're going to go to the start lifetime and reduce it to, let's say, 0.4 seconds. 0.4 seconds, yeah, that looks good. And what else don't I like at the moment? Um, I think the particles are spawning a bit too fast. So let's go ahead and reduce the start speed to three. Yeah, let's leave it Yeah, at, at three, exactly. And um, one other thing I want to do is I want to spawn some more particles because at the moment the particle effect looks a bit uh, dull. It's, um, it needs a little more particles. So to add more particles, what I can do is I can go to the emission and then on rate over time, I can go ahead and increase that to a higher value, let's say 20. There we go. And now uh, we're spawning a lot more particles. So let's go ahead and run the game um, and see what it looks like. Yeah, so that looks quite nice. We have these nice particles spawning around our coin. But one thing you will notice is that the particles are going behind our grass block. I mean, if I go ahead and zoom in, you'll see that the particles, they go behind this grass block. 
If I go ahead and blend the grass block out, wait, which one is it? It's going to be the third one. Um, you can see the particles go under this grass block layer. Um, and so let's make sure that the particles remain in front of this grass block. In order to do that, we need to change the order of layer um, of the individual particles. So on the right hand side, we can go into the renderer. And in the renderer, we're going to change the layer of the particles. Um, let's go ahead and change it over here. You can see order and layer, and we're going to change it to three. Now, the reason why I've changed it to three is because if we go onto the grass block, you'll see that the layer of the grass block is two. So in order for the particles of the coin to spawn in front of the grass block, we need to have a higher order in a layer of the particles spawning around the coin. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you get a nice particle effect around the coin. Um, now, what I did uh, is I made these changes in the game view um, uh, while running the game. So <laughs> that's a bit, bit of a mistake. You'll see that if I stop running the game, the particles are going to be gone and our changes are going to be reverted. So um, make sure to always make your changes in the um, uh, when you're not running the game. So over here, order and layer, let's change that back to three as we had it a moment ago. And let's run it again. Perfect. And now you'll see that we have this nice coin uh, which spawns some particles and with uh, which we can collect. Um, yeah, so that's it for this episode. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.